Thanks for coming with me. Yeah, totally. I made you this. It's a mixtape. Yep. <laughs> These are a bunch of songs that I think my life would have been better if they had been around when I was a teenager. So I'm hoping that if you listen to them now, you'll be a happier and more realized person than I could ever hope to be. <laughs> From that night on, Abby started telling me everything. She grew up in Santa Barbara, where everyone is happy, but that just made her feel crazy. Oh, baby. In 1973, she moved to New York City and went to art school. New York City made her feel sane. It was so fucked up. She fell in love with photography. She learned to dance when she got sad. She saw the man who fell to earth and dyed her hair red. I figured out how to be looked at by men and how to make them excited and uncomfortable. I was so cocky and I was so angry and I was so happy. <laughs> she fell in love with her teacher. Then she went to Planned Parenthood. Her friends couldn't deal with her having cancer, so she went home to her mom. Hey, Mom. Hale, did you ever take DES when you were pregnant with Abby? Yes. I had two miscarriages before Abby. The doctor told me to take it. DES was a fertility medication. Doctors prescribed it to women. Later, they found out that the daughters of the women who took it got cervical cancer. I didn't know that you had miscarriages. When her mom found out it was because she took that drug, she wouldn't talk about it. And everything Abby did made her mad. So Abby looked for another place to live. And she started renting the room upstairs. I'm Abby. And she got a job at the news press. Oh, this is instant tease. Lost portions on property 